Here are the key points for a smooth and successful installation. Static, caused during installation, is a dust and dirt magnet. So start with a clean work area that's been freshly wiped down. We used a microfiber cloth and a cleaning solution of water and a mild soap, like baby shampoo or dish detergent. Wipe down the window sills and the glass to not only remove the dirt, but also to lower the static. If there is any adhesive or sticky residue on your window, spray some adhesive remover on the area. And after letting it sit a few minutes, use a small plastic scraper to safely remove it without scratching. Once the entire work area is clean, place a drop cloth on the floor and give it a mist, and we're ready to start on the first panel. Lay your graphic on a clean work table and wipe it down with a dust-free cloth to make sure the print itself is clean. The next step is to remove the release liner on the back of your print. To help peel the liner, place a small tab of masking tape on the bottom side of one corner and then place another tab on top. Slowly pull back on the top piece while holding the bottom tape and the liner will start to peel. Once the liner is peeled back a few inches, trim off a strip to use to hold down the print on a table. Replace the strip and secure the print to the table with masking tape. Now, peel off the release liner and spray your print evenly with an application fluid like Marabou window juice. After wetting the print, spray a generous even coat of window juice to the application glass. Then, immediately position your pre-cut print. You can float the print on the glass to adjust its position. Once in place, use a scratchless squeegee to apply the graphic. We chose one with a Teflon suede edge. Working from top to bottom, apply a good amount of pressure and squeegee from the center out. Finish by wiping up the application fluid along the edge of the graphic with a clean cloth. 